Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, got some, like a mail day, and some cards I got off of eBay, and some stuff I found while looking through a box of cards. So I'll just start off with what I found. Um, I have like these boxes that I've just thrown, like cards that I've got in from random stuff. And as I've been looking up um, Hall of Fame players and just looking up info on certain cards, I've come across these two just recently. Uh, so this one is uh, John Smoltz Error. That's Tom Glavin, not John Smoltz. I actually have two of these, so I guess it's not that rare. But that's going to go in my misprints and error card collection. And then I found this. And I found this a long time ago, but I didn't think it was his rookie card. It might not even be his rookie card, but um, it seems like it is. It's from 93 Stadium Club, Trevor Hoffman. So I guess until I get his real rookie card, whatever it may be, this is going to be in my binder in place of that. But it's pretty cool. 93 Stadium Club, Trevor Hoffman. I believe 93 was his rookie year, but I think there might be a 92 Bowman or something that he's in. And then, off of eBay, I got this Buster Posey Elite Series numbered to $9.99 so it's going in the Buster Posey PC and for my frame with all the rookies in it I got this Tony Gwynn and it's like in perfect condition the centering is like a tad bit off like here and there and up and down but you can really tell in the back it's I got it for super cheap and this is probably why it's really off but I don't care it's gonna go in a frame so I'm never gonna see the back so nice 83 Tony Gwynn and then uh, went to the mail today and surprised with the package from Pepino Man so uh, he had commented on a video about if I still collect magic cards I told him yeah and he said he would send me some packs of magic so let's see what we get here <laughs> disc shooter. So you got a disc shooter and a little <laughs> and we got two packs of oh what is this? Jeff Bagwell. Holy crap. This is really cool. It's a uh, 1997 Donner's Preferred or something? 98 Donner's Preferred. Jeff Bagwell die cut numbered to 1997. That's really cool. It's like the oldest number card I have. That is really sweet. Thank you for that. I'm more excited about that than the Magic Packs. And the eye patch. Yarg! Yarg! <laughs> Thank you, Papino Man. Alright, let's see what we get in these packs. We got Ixalan. Oops. Alright. Pterodon Knight, Blight Keeper. Um, Duress, that's always a fun card. It's been reprinted a billion times, but... Dive down, Belligerent running on. Ooh, Ixalan's Binding. And for the rare, we have... Ooh, Sunbird's Invocation. Ooh, and a Foil Adonto Vanguard. Nice! That's a really good card. I don't have a foil version of it yet, but now I do. And Sunbird's Invocation. This is actually a really fun card. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X cards of your library, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. You may cast a card revealed this way with converted mana cost X or less without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. So, yeah, every time you play a spell, you get to reveal cards from the top of your library and play another spell. Do not have that card. And now for Hour of Devastation. I didn't buy a lot of these. Um, 
when it came out. I did start buying them to try and chase this card for a while, but then I decided to give up on that. Maybe I'll get one right now. It's kind of late in the game to get one right now, because as soon as September comes around, it's going to drop in price, but it's still a fun card to have. Hmm... Ooh, Ipne Rivulet. I already have four of those, but that's a fun card. Doomfall. Saving Grace. Oh, that's a card that I've seen in decks before, and for the rare, it is. Grind to Dust, one of the double cards. I don't have that one. Put a one one negative one negative one counter on up to two tower creatures and aftermath exile any number of creatures that have negative one negative one counters on them. That's really cool. So yeah, thank you, Pepino man, especially for this. This is really nice. I really want to get into these '90s inserts, especially like these, even though they're like super high numbered, like they're really cool. And especially the die cuts. Oh, this is really cool. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, tell me what you think of uh, these cards and tell me if this is technically considered a rookie, 93 Stadium Club Trevor Hoffman, I would like to know. Thanks for watching people, see you, oh wait, hold on, I got, I got a new hat, and I also have been decorating my man cave, I got these comic books in frames, they are comic books that the artwork is done in the style of hip-hop albums. I have more of them I haven't hung up yet, but that's Ant-Man in the style of uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album. This is Supreme or Squadron Supreme, done like the Wu-Tang Clan, Enter the... Or what is it? Uh, 36 Chambers or something like that. And then Howard the Duck in the style of Old Dirty Bastards CD. So yeah, tell me what you think of my hat and my cards, and my comics. See you later.